Hello YouTube. Uh, today I want to show you what I use for, I have to call it a dark room for lack of a better term, it's more of a dark box. Um, it's about four and a half ish feet long, three feet tall, and two and a half feet deep. <clears throat> I made it because there's no usable space in the house to build a, a real dark room. So this is what I went with. I made it out of uh, it's plastic cardboard. Uh, it's corrugated, it's corrugated plastic, and it comes in sheets. Uh, I work for a recycling company, so we get this stuff periodically and I took to recycle. And I put it together with uh, black duct tape, all the corners. It has a removable lid, like one of those file boxes. Uh, it's got that kind of a lid. It's also the same on the bottom. So it's a sleeve that sits down into a base and has a that goes down on top of it. My intention and what I ended up with are two pretty different things here. This is you know, the body cover. I'll show you how I use this thing. This is the opening. There's an armhole, another armhole. What I do is I stick my arm in the black sleeve, stick my head in through this well-designed square hole. Um, and I have my trays here for the developer, stop bath, and fixer. I use a small uh, old school um, and larger. This is a Kodak Model 1 portable miniature, it says uh, on the label. Uh, I chose that one because it's very small. Yeah, and uh, this is, I've got a red light that they hang in here. And of course, everything is done with extension cords and here's, the, here's the, just a view of the other end and that again is a dark cover so you, I stick my round head in the square hole put my arms in and I use this to cover up the rest of me that's hanging out to block out any light the cellar has the advantage of being a pretty dark place uh, it's just that there's no good place to put any structure. So I built this um, so I could still do some developing and be able to practice my hobby a little more effectively. This is pretty primitive. If, if you're looking for some way to do what you got to do, you're not going to get much more basic than this. It's just a black box made of black plastic cardboard. Uh, I had a different vision, as I said, than what I actually ended up with. And this is not ideal. Uh, but it does afford me enough room to reach the enlarger. Do my processing. I have used it. It's surprisingly easy to work like this. It's just not convenient. And I have my timer here. That's on eBay. I have a neat little timer, brand new, in the box. Still has tags on it. I run my cord in through a small hole in the side that also has a, a black cover over it. And once I turn off the basement lights, it's good and dark. Right, so it works out pretty well. I did my first developing in it. Ooh. I don't play a month ago now. And it, it took some trial and a lot of error, but I did develop some good images. And I just wanted to show you how you can accomplish maybe not great things, but certainly some things in a pretty confined space. One one more view of the inside. 
So now this is me all in, in here. My sleeves, still got my paper, and a 4x5 uh, film holder. There's a film box I made. And there's the red light I mentioned. And this is how I do it here at home. Uh, for as much as I am able. And I thought I would share that with you. Um, really, there's nothing more to go with with this except this is a very cool and larger uh, Kodak portable miniature and larger it's bake light uh, very simple screw in and out focusing um, I put it on the base of another and larger simply for, for size so it would fit in here and not hit the top not hit the sides and I could move it around um, I like to think that one of these days I'll have a room somewhere in a house where I can just build a real dark room. But until then, this is what I've been using and it's worked out so far pretty well. Until next time, bye.